It is. All right, let's try this one more goddamn time. small gap in the whole time loop there. Let's get this gone. Take two. Let's see how this goes. Miss the stream tonight. Super bummed. Yeah, you fucking dick. What are you missing stuff for? No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, we uh, we were really choppy, so we shut it down for a minute. How you doing, man? Emma, thank you. Welcome back yourself. Uh, I just posted it back up in the stream. Thanks Is everything for back better on, now? Emma? Is everything better now? Are we hearing better? Is it connected better? Give me some feedback, because I don't want to get into this shit unless it's going good. I mean, that's not true. I want to open cards regardless, but... Uh, I just want to make sure that everything's, you know, doing well first. Mm. I was up till 9.30 a.m. The struggle is real. Oh, shit. Damn. A little partying going on there, Neil? There we go. Bam. All right. Now we'll, uh, we'll hang out, wait for everybody to get here. Um, if you guys would, real quick, just throw a thumbs up again. We had all that goodness going on the last one, but uh, we had to start it over. We had some choppy audio. Um, everything should be good now. I reset everything. We closed out every app. It's definitely not just you, bud. Ah, uh, fuck. It's still doing it. Oh, they could have been hearing me. Fuck, dude. But they could have been hearing me. No, they're not, they're not hearing you. It's... I did all that fucking shit for nothing, apparently, because I guess it's still like that. That really sucks. I mean, I did everything aside from resetting my my PC and my phone. Like, I, I reconnected everything. Ah, yeah, man, that's super annoying. Oh well. Worm Slayer, what's going on, guys? A lot of party going on, I'm sure for sure. As long as I can see the cards, you're good. Yeah, for sure, dude. I just, it just irritates me that it, it's not. Um, yeah, it just, it's kind of annoying that it, uh, that it isn't smooth. Nothing's still, still shop. Yeah, exactly, dude. And, uh, so let's, all right, what, what happens if I just turn this off? What if I just turn this off? Now it's fucking stupid, but it's a bit, but not as bad as before here. Yeah. The only other option is to completely reset the PC and the phone, but I didn't have to do that before, so I'm kind of wondering if it's just YouTube. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Open me a pre-release fetch. Nice. Yeah, we just hit a, a nice one of those. I hit a, I hit an old border Arid Mesa, and then Levi actually hit an old border Foil Marsh Flats. That was nuts. Oh, yeah, so now it's buffering again. Dude, really? Not your fault. Okay. So is it better with or without the background music then? Again, this is your guys' viewing experience. I'm just supposed to provide it, but I'm doing a shitty job. 
So if you guys are cool with background music, we'll do that so you don't have to hear every breath and like crunch of popcorn and shit that is going on in the background. Yeah, um, or, I'm uh, definitely snacking on some popcorn. Yeah. Or we can just leave the music off. Or I can turn it down. No buffer. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn. So, so it's better without the background music then is what I'm gathering. I'm going to shuffle up some. We got Mr. Wilson. Levi, Sammy G, Tony Mimis, and Expo going on in this battle. It's a uh, five way, five packs a piece. Highest converted mana cost is going to get three extra packs. Lowest converted mana cost is going to get two extra packs. Uh, these these boxes have been insane. It's fine on my end. No change without on my end. Okay, so nothing's changed. Okay, so might as well have the music then. I prefer the music. It keeps me a little more uh, level on the energy. I, too, had a hell of a weekend. Not a fun one, really, but... <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to lay these out. We got one, hey, you got me to two, beer. three. That's true. I got Shannon to drink a bunch of beer yesterday when we were at the, at the Icicle Brewery. All right. Y'all about ready to broaden our horizons? That sucks, man. We lost Michael. I'm gonna get to chill with Mike for a minute, man. We've been fucking busy all week. I've been, like, hopping in and out of his streams and stuff. I was gonna read about that stupid processor that I had so I could pick his brain on that. Not, not, I shouldn't say have. I don't have it, but my buddies are gonna give it to me. Uh... He's already... Everybody who is in the battle is back in. Hell yeah. Music is bueno. <laughs> For sure. May the beef be in your favor. Oh, there he is. What's up, dude? I was trying to find out what this uh, this this processor that my buddies are going to give me is. Hey, dude. Uh, but I was trying to make sure everybody who was in the battle, other than... I know Tony went to sleep. I think Levi went to sleep as well. Um... Well, yeah, we're pushing midnight on these guys. I know that. I know that. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. I can't read that. I know it's a rise in something. That's all I know. But I think everybody's back in. I know. I see Zach. Details? Yeah, I, I don't have details. I just see I just see that it's a rise, and I'm trying to figure that out. Um, but it's 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 uh, we'll figure that out later. I was I was going to tell you about it since you were in here. I just didn't know if I mentioned it on the last little stream that we had going on there. What? But. Uh, Basically, my buddies were telling me it would get me like up to 20 frames per second. That would really help out with the streaming as well. Um, I mean, I don't know what kind of. I literally don't know shit about the computer that I have. My, Michael knows more than that about the computers than I do, but I don't think I should have problems with the setup I have. But uh, if they want to help me upgrade, I'm down. So. Yeah, no, uh, the guy who built me the computer is the one who's going to give me the processor. He said it would literally just slide right in there, and uh, all I got to do is just reload Windows, which would suck, but I mean, I don't have too much on this computer anyway, so I just have to, like, you know, re-download Call of Duty and shit. Uh, all right. Holy shit. This is the first set box that I've ever even seen of Modern Horizons 2, you guys. That's Squirrely. Yeah, that's a sick squirrel. This looks like uh, 
some Midwest roadkill meal right here. Oh, look at those purple packs, though. They keep doing that. Who was talking? I wonder, was it... I think we all were talking about it, but I want to know who started that. Because when they... I think it might have been fucking Rudy talking about the purple packs, man. But when they do... They do them right, though, don't they? Do you even know what you run in mine? Do I even know what I run in mine? A 38... Yeah. I, I don't know what it is. I know it's a 1070 is what my... Freaking, I got a GTX 1070. That's what I know. All I know is that what's in mine is, he said it's about 20% less. Because I have a Ryzen already. It's just a 20% less than the one they're going to give me. I just don't know the numbers on all that stuff. If it was like an Intel like Core i5 or i7 or i9 or something, you know, I'd know a little bit. I just, I'm not familiar with the Ryzen stuff. Not a super... Super computer guy. No, that, that, that conversation is best left for others. <laughs> and the buddy Hermes over there. Yeah. Trying to stay awake. Yeah, man, I hear you. I'm right there with you. Q13, right there with you. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. See, so. See, that's how little we know about computers. 1070, I know, 1070 is the uh, graphics card, but I, well, I was making a joke because I, when I look doing? over into my into my little... Uh, what am I doing? You're going to pick five packs. Three of those are going to be the prize packs uh, for the high, and two of them are going to be the prize packs for the low. Um, They're all weird rabbit or squirrel. Okay. But when I look into my little viewing window of my PC, the only thing you can read is EVGA 1070. I know it's not the... I know it's not the... Those processor. Three are for the high. Okay, these three are for the high. And these two are and for the low. the low. Okay, cool. Alright, let me redistribute the rest of those out to the guys. 1070, is that a tax form? You're damn right it is. <laughs> oh, now we're getting into taxes? The funnest stuff, right? Purple packs are the best, I agree, I agree. I mean, in the history of Magic, they're they're definitely up there. I don't, I don't know if there's as many good sets as the ones that are in purple packs. Wait, is it? There's some silver packs that are up there too, though. No, 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 that's Jeff. Uh, Michael is get to the rares, and he's uh, he he's got a computer that makes my shit look like it was from the Stone Age. His shit reminds me I of the lab Texas from uh, Ninja Turtles Two. I think, I think taxes are only for accountants and actuaries. All right, here we go. Leading it off. Oh, shit, Mr. Wilson. Leading it off, dude. Shannon is feeling the Mimi. Shannon's we got Sammy. In the number two spot. Tony Mimi's number three. Fat and Cleanup, Expo, and Levi. Ah, that's the one we're missing. Where's Expo at? Is he even here? Shit. Chris Smith, what's up, dude? Did you guys get all your stuff from last week? I hope. If you didn't, it's on its way still. All right, let's slide these down. Get this ready to roll. Yeah, the post office has been kind of... They've been overrun. Right. Okay, here we go. Body count. Help me keep track in here. Pack one, Mr. Wilson. It's almost worth it to drive out of the way to Betty. Oh, I know. I like the other post office better, but it's 20 miles away. Uh, we got Squirrel Sovereign. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, look at you. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Forest. Good luck, GGs to everybody. Wow, you have a main, a main piece and a side piece. Oh yeah, dude, his his work computer shits on my normal computer, but his home one is like, ooh, Dothy Voidwalker pack one for two. Shardless Agent for three puts him at five on pack one. Marble Gargoyle, I don't think that's a rare. It's just old border, right? And an Obsidian Charma. Shannon bless the packs. Shannon is now going Mimi's. This will put you at 10 with the Charmaw. 
with a mini game. I wonder if they're going to try to sell these things again. So 10 on pack one. Good night, babe. Good night. We love you. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow. If you're going to lurk in the chat, be weird. You uh, lie. <laughs> you set aside the prize packs? I did. Prize packs are meow for the top and meow for the low. Mist Vault Bridge. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I bet you that makes a wicked playmat. I gotta lay off the playmats, though, to be honest. We got, we got like five Seb McKinnons coming. Dude, the, art, the lands even look good. That looks like it belongs to the server. Uh, not sure, been out of town. Oh, for sure, for sure. Okay. Everything went to the mail. I just haven't checked on it this weekend. I've been out of town myself. <laughs> Break the... Oh, my God! Wow. Let's... That just kind of took me by surprise. That just... Wow. Woo! Expo is in the house, bringing in the misty rainforest. Woo! My, my, my. Okay. That's a, that's a good way to start it. Misty Rainforest. Holy shit. And then we got a Dermo Taxi. That'll bring you up to 12. And then he's got Fire and Ice. That'll put him at 16. And a Late to Dinner. The old Sketcheroon. And a Kaleida Scorch. Oh, with a Lotus Bloom. In the uh, list slot. Mark Zug, Lotus Bloom. That's nice. Doesn't give you anything for the cost. But I think you are at 16 after two packs. Two of those retros in one night. Yeah, absolutely. We're, dude. Uh, I mean, three, actually. I got two, two non-foil and uh, the one etched. Or, I mean, the one etched. The one foil. Uh, I got an Arid Mesa in my first. And then... Uh, we just hit that one, and Levi hit the foil. Marsh Flats. Oops. Well, that's a token, you guys. I opened it from the back. <laughs> Dumb. We got Tangle Pool Bridge. Yeah, that was, a, that was a really good hit. Oh, dude, some of these arts are cool. That'd be another good play, Matt. I kind of like it. Like, I spoiled the set, don't get me wrong, but I didn't watch too much to where I know everything by heart. It's kind of nice to be surprised. Like when that... I wasn't ready for that Misty Rainforest. That took me way by surprise. Capricrome. Power Depot. Thought Monitor for seven. Oh my god. That puts him at 23. The Sea Drake. Okay, so we went rare back to uncommon. Kitchen. Imp. And a Foil Yavamaya Elder. That was a strange pack. I don't know what's going on. That's a nice one, though. The foil of my elder. I'm trying to bling out a deck. Did I pass a rare? I didn't. That was just strange. Okay, so these set boosters are different for me, for sure. Uh, Zach's at 23. All right. Yeah, that was that was dude. <laughs> that that uh, that misty right there. Woo. All right, last pack for Zach before we get to Drama Row. Mr. Wilson, here we go. Dakon Shadow Slayer. Oh, I want to pull one of him. For sure. Oh, look at that guy. All right. My buddy used to play with Dakon as his general. Then he switched it to Send Triplets, and now it's uh, Sharu. Foundry Helix. Rustvale Bridge. Rakdos Headliner. Oh, my God. Dude, a Scalding Tarn, too? Woo! Screaming at you guys. My apologies. Uh, dude. And then an Archon of Cruelty. Alright, for another 8. So that's going to put you at 31. Key. I'm just kidding. I did that for Mike. I know he loves that. <laughs> uh, 31. See, and then we went back to commons and uncommons. What the fuck happened? We went rare, mythic, 
Arcus Acolyte. I don't know what's going on. And then we got the mini game. Uh, I think I got 31 for Mr. Wilson here. We'll run through that. You did not. It does that. <laughs> uh, eight. 15. 19 total there. 21. 26. 29. 31. Whoa, what the fuck? The art on that just looks blurry to begin with. That's strange. Okay. Looks like it's in motion. I got 31 for Mr. Wilson. Not a bad stack at all, dude. There's no way to be mad about that. Did you know that shift ripping's the test drive right here? Two fetches. Because all the cars shift south have wheels. And so it makes it very easy for them to travel from one. 31 for Mr. Wilson. Sammy, let's see if you can keep that pace, dude. Let's go. Holy cow. Zabaz the Glimmer Wisp. Uh, we got that weird modular creature. Forget what it's called, though. What a weird placement of stuff for the set. Yeah, dude, for sure. Um, that's crazy, dude. I, I don't understand the, the set, like, the way they go either. Um, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about it either, because there's some hits going on. Blacksmith skill, lens flare, stealth, steel fin whale, stealth fin whale, razor tide bridge, timeless witness, file and tumor, sorrows, moderation. Okay, thirty-one. Thank you, Jason. Moderation for three. Mistress factory, a lens flare. A graceful restoration. Oh, hey, that's on the that's the thing that's on the collectors kit or collectors boxes. Not the best card for the uh, artwork that they chose for the box, though. And then a ha Haship Oasis. It's an uncommon. It's not count towards anything. It's a land anyway. So that's a three for Sammy. Uh, we need to step it up. It's all right though. It's all right, man. Some of these packs have a lot of air in them. I don't know if you guys were opening that notice that as well. What is that? That is a junk winder. Those two squirrels want to touch my junk winder. All right. Uh, mountain. Deepwood Denison. Squirrels are awesome. How's it going, James? Ravenous squirrel. Ooh, this is a squirrel theme pack, actually. Glimmer with Glimmer Wasp looks like a Zoid. It does. Persist there for a rare. Okay. Persist with the two drop. Potentially have four rares or mythics in the pack. Oh wow, okay. Alright, so there's two. That'll bring him up to five. Oh, and he gets the cradle. Each land is a forest in addition to its other types. Alright. This is a good pack so far. Persist to the Cradle. Patriarch's Bidding will take that. That'll put him up to 10. Gargadon. The set will have all the money. I don't care. All my money, I don't care. Yeah. Ah, Goldmire Bridge. I thought that was going to be another March Flats. I do like the art on these a lot, actually. I appreciate the art on those uh, artifacts. The artifact lands. So Sammy is up to 10. Pack 3. Okay, I was expecting a little more out of that last pack. It started out good with the persist and then the other, um, but we, we didn't uh, we didn't keep it up. Some weirdos there, looking like something out of uh, oh god, what was that game? It's not Dark Siders, it's the other one. Oh man, you could like shrink down into a rat and walk between walls and stuff. I didn't like it as much. It's made by, I think it was made by Bethesda, or maybe, I don't know. I gotta stop talking. I'm gonna misspeak. Freeman Watcher. 
Resurgent Belief. Okay. Not going to count for the mana cost. There's a Cabal for four. That'll put him at 14. I think we already seen Cabal. Or maybe that was in the pack battle. World Weary. Dishonored is what I was thinking of. The game Dishonored. Uh, the people in those, like, semi-pirate looking things remind me of people from Dishonored. Dusk Shell Crawler and... No list card. Crap! Sammy, hit something good here, man. And you're at all of 14 right now. So at least you're looking at the low spot. I don't know what she's doing, but she's into it. The packs are floofy. They are, yeah, for sure. Quit looking at my chunk. <laughs> exactly. Flame Tongue, Flame Blitz, Flay Essence, Dress Down. Card I was kind of shit talking earlier until I read it again. Uh, we're going to dress down for two more seconds till this ad's over. All right. So that'll put you at a whole 16. With patchwork gnomes, not clockwork gnomes. Glimmer wasp, yeah. Uh, Glimmer wasp, that modular thing, uh, I was talking to uh, Tim about it, and uh, he likes modular a lot as well. Oh... Aramida. So, Flying Parasite. Ooh, a foil Esper Sentinel. That's cool. I like the foiling on that, too. That looks legit. All right. Damn, we've been hitting Esper Sentinels left and right. All right, so it's only going to add one, so I think that'll bring you to 17. But, I mean, foil Esper Sentinel, that's cool. If you play the game... Really cool. If you're just collecting, still cool. Alright, so we got one, three, seven, nothing, twelve, nothing, fourteen, seventeen total for Mr. Sammy G. With that S percent, I'll save it in the end there. We still got Drama Row. Uh, not as beefy as the first stack, but not bad. Tony Mimi's, he's already asleep. He'll probably hit insanity in here. That's how it usually goes when guys pass out during the during the battles. They usually end up getting some good stuff. I just spoiled that. My bad. Uh, we got Ether Sworn Sphinx. I'm, that's that's a creature type. I'm not a fan of. There's some good ones, you know, but the Sphinxes, man. Yeah, they're always. I just don't like the art on Sphinxes. I like everything but the face thing. Ugh. All right, Tony Mimi's. Here we go. Miss Grim Creepin'? I don't know. She was pretty tired. She went on the road trip with me yesterday, and then uh, she went and rode around with her family and did some stuff as well while I was gone getting fitted for my tux today and stuff, so. Legion Vanguard. Sacrifice on a creature and explorers. Okay. I don't know if I... Ooh, Sanctifier and Vec for two. There's that art card we seen just a minute ago. Two for Tony already. Milliken. Monoskeleon. Ooh, Foil Ignoble High Arc. It's only a one drop, but dude, those are looking good. Did anybody else know we were getting shifty foils in Modern Horizons 2 when Time Spiral was out? I mean, we all were talking about how they're going to bring it back. They know that people like them. I hope they stick with them, to be honest. I, I much prefer the look of that kind of foil than the straight... I mean, you can keep the extended arts and stuff. Don't be wrong. That S for Sentinel is cool. But if it was foiled in an old border, mm, you guys wouldn't even you wouldn't even think twice about it. So that was a, a whopping three-pack for Tony, but with a great hit in water today and almost cried. Oh, my God. What even is the list? I know, right? Yeah, super beef, for sure. These boxes are good, man. You guys weren't kidding. Ah, man, I, I gotta quit flipping those. I keep thinking that I'm on the back of it, but it's just because the art cards are backwards on this one. Dress down. There it was. We just saw that one. Urban Dagger Tooth. Are you worth anything here? Let me see here. Whenever it's dealt damage, proliferate. Oh, yeah. 
that's going to go into Atraxa. Yes. Here's something I wish I knew. If you owe less than $356,362... Skip ads. That's what I wish I knew. All right. Sanctuary ra Raptor. I almost said Raper. <laughs> Sword of her. Oh, my goodness. See, you go to sleep, you hit it big. Sword of Hearth and Home. I'm Jelly. I want this so bad. I really hope that my set box has one of these in it. Because this potentially was my set box. <laughs> oh, man. What a set box it's been so far. Sword of Hearth and Home, dude. Woo! Where'd you guys go on your road trip? Uh, we went to Wenatchee and Leavenworth. So that's going to be three, so that'll bring him up to a whopping six. Woo. With the orb, I uh, went to the venue, and then I went to Icicle Brewing and Cashmere and get some barbecue and whatnot, and we already ruined that, so we knew there wasn't a list card. Dang, Tony. All right. Going for the basement with all your mythics and toys, too. All right. It's called a retro foil, and, the, and that one's like 150. Woo! For the, for the Ignible Hierarch? Are you shitting me? I gotta quit doing that. I gotta quit doing that. I fucked it up again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll get the hang of it, I swear. By the time this isn't relevant, I'll know what I'm doing. Uh, I was a little struck by that $150 price tag. Is that a real? Mm. Chattering Augur. This kind of looks like a Lesher from uh, The Witcher. Pretty dope. All right. Oh my God, Tony! Isn't this like one of the most expensive cards too, dude? Dude, what is going on? Holy cow! What's up, here, boy? Watch that crazy tail, bud. That's going to add three, so he's at nine with everything here. What's going on, Paws? Appreciate you swinging back through. Man. Yeah. Thumbs up for these packs, huh? Holy shit. Jade Avenger again. The Bushido Frog. I wish there was a, I wish there was a, a word for frog or toad that started with a B, if anybody knows it. Bushido Frog. Mm, it's cool. But I want it to start with a B. There's a Floodhound. I got a dog licking my elbow and totally lost. But we already knew that because I fucked the pack up again. All right, this time I'm not going to flip it. Low five vibes. How's it going, Christina? How you doing? Chatter is around 40. My God, dude, Tony's crushing it right now. He's going to wake up tomorrow and be stoked. What are you doing, Bubba? Get the hell out of the way. Don't knock stuff over. Glimmer Baron. He's got some goofy looking fun going on there. <laughs> Not the prison. <laughs> yeah, Leavenworth's cool. Leavenworth's cool. Um, it was a little packed. Uh, it was nice, though. Uh, you know, I'm not to start a debate, but I'm on the side of, like, a, I'm ready for no masks, and a lot of people aren't wearing them. Nobody asked me to put one on because nobody else was wearing one. It was, felt like normal for a couple minutes. It's pretty cool. Rise and Shine for two. That'll bring him up to 11. Ooh, Academy Manufacturer for three. That'll be 14. Sterling Grove for two. That'll bring him up to 16. Chatter Storm in the old freaking form there, or old retro frame, that's what we're calling it. Piercing Rays. That is cool. Uh, I think that's what happens when you turn around and use the wrong side of the Fleshlight. Uh... And then Friday Night Magic. <laughs> we got 16 for Tony Mimi. So let's uh, double check that. Grim is a noob. What did I do? Surrounded by awesome. <laughs> I know, man. I know. I'm sorry, Sammy. Uh, five, seven, ten. 13, 14, 16 for Tony. Get this damn ad out of here. 
All right. 16 for Tony Mimis. 138.82 to be exact. Wow, dude. That's insane. Who's licking my ankle? What's going on with that? All right, Expo, man. This has been a crazy ride, and we're not even we're not even done. Whew, effort, Sam. But you know, I have hope that he's gonna he's gonna have the uh, he's gonna have the best luck on Drama Rough. You know, if everybody else is gonna hit absolute insanity, maybe his is just waiting for the end. Damn it, that one's got a list card. How about that? I did it again. Uh, Glorious Enforcer, still a noob, learning every freaking pack. She's gonna kick my ass. Uh, Island, here we go. Expo, pack one, dude. The road to ruin, it's all you. Hey, there's the ooze for five. So oozy. There's the Yavamaya Elder. I think it's going to be both, dude. I think the prices will go down, but I also think the box prices will come up and they'll meet in the middle. That's my first take, because a lot of these cards are new, so they can't tank too fast. or other Otherwise, people are going to buy them all up and then they'll really skyrocket, you know? What's going on here? There we go. Nested Chandler. Uh, ooh. But I do think the prices are going to go down next week when all the super fun stuff hits the shit. You know what I mean? Everybody's going to be... Everything's going to be special next week, you know? Garganon and a Veil of Summer. Hey, that's a good hit in Core 20. I wonder if that's a really good hit on the list. That's like a $9 uncommon, isn't it? So what's it on the list? Like 12 bucks? It doesn't count towards the, the total expo, but I mean, it's a hit. Right on, Jason. Thank you. All right, here we go. We got Mental Journey by Jim Pavlik. What are we looking at here? We got doors and gravestones. All right. Kieran, enough. Swamp. Echoing Return. The dog's mad at me. He's voicing his displeasure. Expo out of one rare pack with five. Ten dollar uncommon? Yeah. Very good. Radiant Epicure. Ooh, where's a saga? Not gonna count towards your towards your total of five, but that's a good one to hit, dude. Uh, I think that's the actual printing, not the sketch, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the real one. Upheaval? Okay, so that's going to add to your five, make you 11. Flame Tongue. A mere scrappling for a foil. And then your list card, Mana War. What a shitty list card. I mean, you know, it's a three drop. You can use it. Put something in somebody's hand again, but, you know. We're looking for, like, I don't know if he's still on the list, but Kozilek, or... I'm not sure what was added to the list on this one. I didn't spoil that either, so... Whew, okay. All right, Expo. The saga's good, but uh, I think we can do better. Mystic Redaction. Focus. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why won't it focus? What's going on? Camera won't focus for me? There we go. Oh, nope, it won't do it. There it goes. Okay. That was annoying. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Mystic Redaction. Oh, this is uh, Mike's favorite card. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is a moist reaction for sure. It's a something reaction. <laughs> All right. We've got more hits in the box. 
Blossoming. Blessed. Expo, what are you feeling, dude? I think it's going to be something good. Hey, there's a Baz the Glimmer Wisp. Hey, that's a legendary one, too. So you can have a legendary creature for a one drop that can be the red white modular of your dreams. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. One. That'll put you at 12. Ooh, Goblin Bombardment. That'll put you at 14. Not a bad card in its own right. Underworld Hermit. I heard a dog. Oh, no, it was the dog for sure. He's, uh, he's kind of grumbling a little bit. He's growling at me. It's like a disgruntled kind of, you know. It's definitely like muttered under his breath. He's not barking like he was earlier, but fucked it up. Late to dinner from Kev Walker. That's cool. I do like the art on that one. <laughs> All right, Expo. Where are you at? You were at 11, 12, 14 total. 14 for Expo. Here we go. Last pack for Drama Row. I'm opening these things slower than shit. Oh, he gets a uh, old border, your commander. As Miranda Marta could dice than a Koldar. Cold the car, sorry. As Miranda Monica dice to cold the car. Geist in a cold car. As Miranda Martica dice in a cold car. There we go. That is a no cost. So that adds nothing for you. Oh, but then he gets a Torak, the Dread Cantor. Right behind it. That'll put you at a whopping 16 with another mythic, dude. A little greed for you. And another little angry wine from Karen. Arcbound Slasher and totally lost. Still getting to see that little fibble thip. <laughs> All right, dude, that wasn't bad. You got a little mythic there and the uh, old uh, retro Asmo. Let's get you. I think that puts you at 16. So there's your two, four, five, 11, 16. So you are tied with Tony right now in the basement. Not bad. Let's throw another one of these out there. It should go with the dragon pearl necklace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So 16 for Expo. Not bad. How's everybody's weekend? Do you guys have a good weekend? Other than, I mean, obviously everybody's opening cards, having fun. Do you guys actually have a good weekend, though? <laughs> Mine flew by. I gotta go to work tomorrow. It kind of sucks. Pulled one of those on his hand as it streams. Money shot art card. Yeah. There you go, money shot. All right. But is, what's, isn't it like accidental, though? Uh, I just did it again. Son of a bitch. I got to quit doing that. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, here's Dihada. I'm hoping we pull one of these. Oh, and it's signed by Bismack. That's cool. Nice little hit there for Levi. Levi's also Mimi, so I expect big things here. Yeah. Love that set pack designs, too. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm liking everything about these set boosters, for sure. Uh, I'm still noticing, though, if you guys if you guys haven't noticed, uh, they just keep making set boosters better and better. I don't know if that's good or bad, because at a certain point, aren't they going to have to be like, that was too good, and then dial it back, and that's probably what we'll get for the rest of the time. <laughs> Strike it rich. Create a treasure token. Ooh, moderation in the sketch version. Not bad. For three, for Levi's first rare. Bray is Apprentice for three. I want this thing to, there we go. Uh, that'll put him at six. Ooh, Riptide Laboratory, all right. Not bad. With a mind collapse. 
And a Torox Canticle again, and nothing. All right, six pack for Levi on the first one with three rares. Not bad, not bad. You are good at that, can't say that. <laughs> can't say what, you can say anything. There's no filters in this stream. Fuck. Shit. Ass. No filters. Uh, this is, what, Yavamaya, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> the card is what, it, what you read it as, you know? If I want to make decks, I want to have the cards. Yeah, for sure. Archangel, how you doing? All right, prismatic ending. Here we go. Kaleidoscorch. Use three. Use three. Fortune's Flame. Three. I'll put him at nine. The old Gorilla Shaman. That is some sick artwork. I actually like that a lot. That's cool. That's cool. All right, Gorilla Shaman. It's uncommon. doesn't matter. I mean, it matters. doesn't count, though. Goblin... A Narcomancer. Also got some cool artwork. Young Necromancer. That's like the young Pyromancer. Little Lily Wannabe. And nothing. Will you stop whining, dude? What do you want from me? What? You want to get out? There. Goodbye. Go. I don't have anything for you, dude. Looking for that Esper Sentinel and the, um, the Mythic Angel. Ah, the Mythic Angel. Sarah's... What is it called? Sarah's something. It's like her helper. <laughs> Sorry, dog is requiring attention. He needs pets and nose boobs. Expo understands. Premature spew. <laughs> yeah. Smothering money shot. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I think he's at a whopping nine, Levi is. That first pack was looking pretty good. The second pack seemed like a little bit of a letdown. Uh, we got Lucid Dreams. Oh. That's a colorful artwork, too. That's strange. Uh, that reminds me of the... Uh, um, oh man, what was it called? Rainbow Fish? When I was a kid, there was like a, there was like a book that like... It had like rainbow colored scales on the front of it. It was a really short book. I don't know. I'm weird. Shouldn't remember that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back, so I don't have to worry about this anymore. Okay, you guys have probably heard this enough tonight, but that's fine. All right, Captain Ripley again with the doofy eyes and a soul talisman. All right, not gonna add to the total. I think you're still at nine. Profane Tutor, damn, also not going to add to the total, but a good hit. Uh, seal of Removal, Prophetic Titan, Chrome Courier, and Friday Night Magic. Okay, uh, so double rare pack, didn't add nothing. This is kind of strange. Levi is hitting ultra rares, but uh, he wants my undivided attention. I know, he's being a Sarah's Emissary, thank you. But he was beating it and thought it would be a cool art design. Yeah, for sure. He was like, here, have this. Ah, dude, I did it again. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to get it down eventually, you guys. I'm, I apologize. I want to get one of those. That needs to go on my dino deck. I went to Jurassic Park last night. It was fun. It was the last game of the night, too. We ended up freaking closing it out on that win. It was fun. For me. Uh... The suspense soul ring is low key awesome. Yeah, dude, I agree. I agree. A lot of people are like, man, I don't know, mana later is. It's like, dude, no, mana later is what you want. You want everybody to forget that you have mana coming. Let them forget. When you're playing those long turn EDH games, people forget about shit all the time. Like, when did you get that? And you're like, oh, you don't remember? Inevitable betrayal. Okay. Dude, you're getting all of the things that add no mana cost, dude. Uh, Levi is going for the Fruit Loop stack, which is freebies. In uh, chance encounter. Enhanced encounter. That'll be a four finally, so I think that puts you at 13. Pissed off monkey. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Nope, it's a step through. I think that puts you at 13, dude. Total. Uh, 
and a lightning spear, and one last chance at nothing. They're gonna they're gonna give us that secret lair art card. Okay. So we got four. Nothing. 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 Seven. Nothing. Ten. Thirteen. Total. Thirteen total. That was a weird stack, Levi. So that'll take the low spot for now. Uh, at thirteen. We've got Tony Mimi's and Expo tied at 16. Sammy uh, needing some help in Drama Row with 17. And Mr. Wilson has already done... Uh, I, I don't know if anybody can catch him, but we'll see. Uh, let's get into Drama Row here. Jurassic Park had a delayed win and it crushed Major League. Yeah, dude, it was, it was nuts. Young Lily, for sure. <laughs> that sounds like a uh, rapper that'll be out by the end of 2022. Fuck, I did it again. Man, I'm gonna... It's because of the ad. No, it's definitely because I suck. All right. Uh, you guys, why won't it do... Fix it. Fix it. Come on. There it goes. I don't know why it's having a hard time with that. It's a little weird to me. I just want to see the art cards. That one's cool as fuck. I like that one. Alright. Mr. Wilson. Can you even pull more stuff? I think you can, but can you? There's that junk winder again. Here we go. Harmonic Prodigy. Okay. So that'll be another two. The sketch rare. Alright. Blood Braid Marauder for another two, so that'll put you at 35. I don't think anybody's going to be able to touch him. I'm pretty sure you got this cinched up in the high spot with a counter spell and Galvanic Relay with a Vermin Gorger. Because we already knew that I fucked that up. 35. 35 for Mr. Wilson. I don't think I don't think anybody's taking that one away from you, man. I think you got three extra packs coming your way. I could be wrong. Sammy, dude, we need to see, how about, how about a foil, uh, fetch land? We haven't seen a fetch land in a while. How about a foil one? Uh, we could take, ooh, I did it again, but that one has a list card. Bone shards. Bro, I'm gonna have to, like, do electroshock therapy so I don't keep fucking up these packs. Alright, Sammy needs some help. Let's get it to him. Here we go. Jake and Joel preview card. Here we go. Ah, tireless provisioner. I feel like that wants to be tireless tracker for an elf. Richard and Dockhand. That'll put him in 18. Okay. Soul Snare. Cheerios. <laughs> for sure. Here we go. Ah, bone shards. Damn, dude. Sammy. Come on, redeem it, redeem it right here. Ah, flourishing strike. Okay, we got we got a list card. Make it the good one. Change his whole box around right here. Sammy. It's white. Can be fairies protection. What's on there? What's on the list? Oh, dude, splicer skill. Come on, I feel stretched on that one. F's all around for Sammy. He gets a one drop, one rare. What the fuck? Ah, Sammy, man, that's rough, dude. I didn't miss a rare either. Dude, all right, 18 for you, dude. Hopefully you take the low. You could use the help. I think the universe would like to see that. Everybody else is doing okay. I feel like you're taking the, the biggest stretching here. Okay. There are two 12 drops in this set. Oh, shit. Okay. Didn't know. Didn't know. Yeah, F in the chat for, Sa for Sammy. Not what he wants to hear, but I'm hoping he takes the low. We can get this to focus. That'd be great. Focus right here. Focus. Come on, you dirty. There it is. There's Thrasta again. 
Oh, but that's the other version. I like that one. I like that one. That one's cool. All right. Tony. Any good hits? There's been a few good hits, dude. Uh, most of them went to everyone but Sammy. Sammy got a foil Esper Sentinel, though. There's a little bit of redemption there, but not much. Uh, yeah, we, we hit a couple shock lands. Shock lands, fetch lands. Uh, we also hit a f um, an old border, a retro frame fetch land. Obsidian Charmaw for Tony. That'll give him. F that'll put him up to 21. Okay. All right. And we got a Sea Drake. And a Vile Entomber. All right. A zombie Warlock there. And a Lose Focus. That's uh, been lost. And a Friday Night Magic. All right. Well, Tony did pretty good, too. He was uh, he hit a lot of good stuff, too. We'll review it all at the end there, Bruce, like we usually do. Uh, but Tony, Tony and uh, Mr. Wilson did pretty damn good. Uh, Tony's up to 21. That's that's boating well for you, Sammy, uh, because Tony's out of the race now. So Expo needs uh, to hit some freebies to be uh, in the low spot, or he can hit two to tie you. That's from Germany. Gerfalek, how you doing? Gay Firelick, right? I try, I'm trying to remember that, man. <laughs> oh, that one's got a list card. I revealed it again. <laughs> Grist. Oh, that's a different Grist. Dude, why are you complaining? Is your stomach hurt or something? What's going on with you? Uh, this one looks a lot like the Bob Ross Island. Uh, it's a Douglas Schuler, but it looks a lot like the Bob Ross one. All right, here we go. Expo. Last pack, dude. S from Germany. That's so cool. It's so cool that people are watching from Argentina and Germany. That shit blows my mind still. That's that's a trip. Body count, stop cursing me. <laughs> Don't count out the 12s. Yeah, I know. Except for usually I'm talking about Seattle sports stuff when I say that. Glimpse of tomorrow. There's a freebie for Expo. Uh-oh. All right. It's all coming down to these last couple cards here. Glimpse of tomorrow. Flame Rift. Still at 16. Kieran's still crying. Abundant Harvest. Okay. Got the foil. That's also a common. So if this isn't a rare, Expo's going to snag that spot from Sammy. Oh, it's a, it's it's not a rare. It's an uncommon Pegasus Stampede. Oh man, F's in the chat for Sammy. Got sniped with an actual 16 from Expo. Hit him with the hard 16 with the freebies. Oh man, Karen, dude, what is your problem today? What the hell's wrong with you, man? Why are you being so whiny? You're messing up the stream, bro. Everybody's getting mad at you. It's not true, but... I was firm in the lead, and the guy next to me dropped a dino and full art dino in the last pack. Oh, jeez. Wow. So, uh, I think I think Body Count just... Uh, he just called for a double dino in the last pack. Uh, so, we got 16 for Expo. Levi can stick uh, with three. He can have three to tie. Levi needs two to win. We got uh, fish sticks, I believe. Yep. We got fish sticks. All right. Here we go. Underworld Chris, what's going on, man? Welcome back. I'll actually KMS. I don't know what KMS is. Brainstone, that's not bad. First time I've seen that. Kill myself. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. 
every time you start opening the pack from the back, there's usually beef in there. That's how it's going. I haven't paid attention to that yet, but, uh... Oh my goodness, Garth One-Eye for Levi. Well, that'll put him at 18, so Expo's gonna take the low spot. Garth One-Eye for Levi? Dude, really? Sammy, dude. Man. That's rough, man. That is rough. Garth one eye for five for Levi. And then he gets into the Angelic Curator. Phantasmal Dreadmaw. Liquid Metal Torque. And totally lost. Well, that'll put Levi at 18. So we got Expo in the basement with 16. We got an ad. Typical. I remember cooking my first one. And uh, we got Mr. Wilson way up there with 35. Uh, I have some leftovers from last week. Uh, Sammy, let's let's grab a strict haven, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make an attempt here, dude. I don't have much to give you. I don't have much pity pack going on this week. Uh, pretty strapped, but. These were left over from last week, so let's see if I can't redeem something for you here, man. Uh, apologies for that awful opening, dude. You got stretched. Esper Sentinel was the best thing you hit. At least it was foil. Uh, let's hope for something in here, man. Just going to use these for the uh, shorts videos, but I never got around to it. I was really busy this week. Fortifying Draught. There's a Cody. Mystical Archive. Remember when this was a thing? Like, two weeks ago when we were all opening these things? Man, we got nothing in here either. Spellbound Dragon. Alright, at least you got a list card and it was a rare. I mean, we tried, dude. Cody and a dragon. What are you gonna do, man? Uh, Levi, going home with the low spot. Mr. Wilson with the 35. Let's get into those. GG's, y'all. Actually, Levi, not the low spot. Expo at the low spot. Almost fucked that up. Caught it. Yeah, rip Sammy for sure, dude. 35, 18, 21, 16, 18 is what I got, Jason. Oh, we tried to make it better for Sammy. Fucked up the pack order again. Dude, I need somebody here slapping me every time I do it. But according to packs, this means that there's going to be some goodness in here. Let's see if that rings true. Uh, we got a big fiery dragon. There's a foil, one of those cool islands. I really do like the art on the uh, lands in this set for sure. Expo, almost gave your stuff to Levi. Here we go, Feast of Sanity. Chitter Spitter for three drop. If the freaking thing would... Mm. All right. Carrion Ranger. Nothing. All right. That means that we need something right here. Miss Pre-Release. You got any kits extra? I do not. I sold out on all of them. I only had two extra. Um, I was... Oh, my goodness. What is this? What is this? Expo, what did you just do? Oh, is it a... Oh, 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 What's that running, bro? Nice. Yeah, I had two kits. I was gonna... I was gonna uh, maybe save a third, but uh, I felt like opening it. I was, I was greedy. It was the first two things that I opened of Modern Horizons 2. Man, that's... Is that two old border... F or retro foils in this box so far? The other one being uh, Ignible High Arc, dude? Wow. Dang. Expo. Congrats on that, dude. Woo! Thirty-three. It's thirty-three bucks for that soul talisman. Oh wow, that's a little undervalued, personally. But we'll uh, we'll let it be what it is. F for Sammy. I know, dude. I know. I tried, man. 
Grist the Hunger Tide again. Uh, hey, just so we are all clear. Ooh, there's the second Take my card signed card for the Grist there. I don't know if that's worth anything. Uh, but Pax was right on that one. We hit that old border or retro frame foil. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to learn this as I go. Retro frame foil. Uh, so he was he was right when I started opening them from the wrong side. They had some good cards in them. Uh, Arcbound javeliner. Javelinier. Ooh, Sylvan anthem, in the sketch. We got sketch, etch, foil, and craziness. Extendo. Sloppy seconds. <laughs> yeah. Still have an anthem, though. With a calibrated blast. Squirrel mob. Dang. All right. Bloodhound in sketch. See, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that one. I like, the, I like the sketch art of that. But I don't like the... This... Eh. Action. This creature is a bloodhound. Formed entirely of water. Huh. All right. Oh, is that like the uh, is when the, when it says action? Is that uh, is that like the instruction they give the artist? Yavamaya is a good card too. Oh yeah. Did uh, did Sammy get the Yavamaya too? That's a good card. I feel a lot better if he did. I really do. I didn't re I didn't realize we haven't gone through it yet. All right, totally lost. Hey man. Expos are some pretty good packs, not gonna lie. Uh, I really hope that he hit the, uh, that's so two weeks ago, I know. For sure. Strict savings, old news, man. It's super old news. Alright, I just refreshed the chat, see if it, uh, if anything happens. Couple good things there. Poor Jason. Jason, Jesus, no. Jason is talking to me for Expo. You guys tell that it was a long weekend. I'd be fucking up a lot. Sojourner's Companion. Companion? Companion. I can't even talk. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Oh, my. Look at you. That's a... That looks like a, a nascent metamorph. All grown up. Ooh, the, the music is getting a little uh, suspenseful here. Are we about to hit something good? Is Mr. Wilson going to do it again? There's a General Ferris Rakirik. Action and mood on many of the sketch cards that he was used to. Yes, I love that. Okay, that's cool. I like that they include those, to be honest. Because um, I, I like knowing what the, what the art was supposed to be. So that, that gives you a little hint on sometimes, you know, so... If you're about to rip the art, you can be like, well, I mean, look at the vague description they gave the artists. I mean, if you wanted something better, you should have gave them something better. So that's kind of cool. I do like that. I enjoy that on the sketch thing. That's that's cool. Oh, my God, this guy. Dude. Dude. Cabal Coffers, man. Fuck, I want to hit a Cabal Coffers. This box has been good. Holy shit, when we go back through this and look through... This box has been something else. No foil list cards? No, yeah, no. Uh, for sure, I just... I... Glimmer Baron. Okay. Tormod's Crypt Keeper. And an Acroma's Memorial? Dude, Zach! Mr. Wilson! Dude! Holy shit, man. I think that's probably the best list card we've hit, too. Wow. Expo and shifty cards. I know, dude. He gets them a lot. Scrounging kits this weekend. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, dude. The notes for the artist is why I love the sketch cards. Yeah, that actually brings up the appeal a lot for me as well. Um, because I like the art. It's, it's not the it's not the art that I have an issue with. It's it's just the frame on some of them. I'm not a fan of. I wish they wouldn't have done the frame on some of them. But I like the sketch for sure. Uh, that that uh, damn it! I opened it from the back, so that means there's going to be goodness in here, I guess. Scurry Oak. Yeah, dude. What what is what is the winning packs here? Holy shit. We got. 
Esper Sentinel too. Man, just it doesn't stop for you. Wow. Bone Shredder. That's got to be how Sammy's feeling. He feels like he went through the Bone Shredder for sure. The Companion and no list. All right, last pack of this insane set box where we got Chatterfang, Garth One-Eye, Cabal Coffers, two fetch, or yeah, fetch lands. Um, a foil retro soul talisman, a foil retro ignoble high arc. I mean, in, in all senses of the word, except for Sammy. If you're Sammy, you got Yavamaya. And uh, the foil Esper Sentinel isn't bad either. Let's not let's not downplay that. But man, this box has been good. Abiding Grace, like a bad dad joke. Yeah. Territorial Kavu. About time you get some jank. I don't know if this is jank though. I haven't even read it. Power and toughness equal to the number of basic land types among lands you control. Okay, whatever attacks, choose one. Discard a card. Draw a card. Exile to. I mean, eh. Eh. I can live without it. Oh, man, yeah, you hit a... You hit a... a retro border foil uh, soul talisman, dude. You missed your whole stack? All right, last chance for a list card, even though he already took the good one in a Chroma's Memorial. Yeah, and then he gets a Fomori Nomad. Dope art on that one, at least. It looks like a boss that you would battle in either Shadow of the Colossus... Or uh, maybe even Mega Man. <laughs> wow. Uh, those boxes were pretty... That box was pretty nuts. Uh, let me stop throwing cards on my dog. Uh, fetchy? We, you did not hit a Fetchy, no. You gonna be doing another of these battles? Uh, I, I don't have another set box, unfortunately. Um, the one that I do have is mine, and uh, I really don't want to let go of it because I can't, uh, can't get my hands on another one right now. Uh, the store that I bought mine from is sold out, and they want a lot, a lot more money for them now that everybody's been opening them, so I'm not going to go back and pay that, that ridiculous markup because it's more expensive than it even already was to begin with. But, uh, let's run through some of these hits, man. Territorial Kavu, Esper Sentinel, Akroma's Memorial, Cabal Coffers, The General, Blood Braid, Harmonic, Archon of Cruelty. There's another Mythic I forgot about, so we're at two already, right, on the Mythics? Uh, Scalding Tarn. Thought Monitor, Lotus Bloom, Fire and Ice, Dermotaxi, the Misty Rainforest in Retro uh, retro Frame, Obsidian Charma, the Shardless Ancient, and he started out with the Dothy Voidwalker. That guy will be good with Winota. Oh, yeah. Happy with the pulls? I bet, dude. Freaking killed it, man. Yeah, dude, I know. He did something there. Uh, we're going to run through Sammy's. I, man, I don't know. I don't know. I do have another box. Maybe maybe we'll, we'll see. Let's, let me see what I can do. If we have interest in doing another box, we'll see what I can do here. I want to open a set box. It was what I was planning on doing for content this week. But, I mean, you know, if everybody wants to... To battle it out, I don't want. I don't want to have to make the stream short because I'm greedy. <laughs> uh, Spellbound Dragon, Cody. I will have, however, next week. I know they're way expensive. I'm trying to figure out what to do with them, but I have four collector boxes coming, um, and uh, I'm definitely not keeping four of those. As for Sentinel Foil for Sammy, Dress Down. I think that's a pretty good card. Uh, not worth much, but it's a good card. It could definitely win you the game or stop an opponent from winning the game. Patriarch's bidding's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. He did get the cradle. So he, he, this and persist. It wasn't terrible, but I mean, compared to everybody else's stacks, I, you know, what are you going to do? I think you mean Shadow of the Mega Man. Yeah, Shadow of the Mega Man for sure. Still trying to catch up to me from TSR. Oh, dude, yeah. Your TSRs were something else. 
Sterling Grove. This is Tony Mimi's. He did well for himself while sleeping. Um, I just dropped his charm off. Uh, the Academy manufacturer, Rise and Shine. He hit that Chatterfang, the Sword of Hearth and Home. Oh my God. And the Ignible High Arc and the Sanctifier. Uh, so I think that's what, three mythics right there? Expo. This is what you hit, dude. Sammy got boned. I know, dude. I know. Squirrel Mob, Calibrated Blast, Sylvan Anthem. Uh, you got the Grist signed art card. You got the Soul Talisman. You got the Chitter Spitter. Glimpse of Tomorrow. So let's do, uh, where are we at here? Uh, Chatterfang, where was that at? Wait. No, we already seen Chatterfang. That was Tony Mimi's. None of these have been mythics. Okay, okay. Uh, Torok, there's another mythic. That's five. I'm going to call him Turok from now on. I don't care what anybody says. He's not the dinosaur hunter. He's the dread cantor, but still. Uh, Goblin Bombardment. Zabaz the Glimmer with Upheaval. Urza Saga you hit. And uh, the Progenitor Ooze. So not a bad stack there either, if I don't say so myself. I wouldn't be mad at that. Um, I think that's only five mythics, though, so far. Uh, and then Levi, also Mimi's, hit Garth One Eye, Chance Encounter, Inevitable Betrayal, The Tutor. I want that. Another Soul Talisman, U Three. That's six uh, six mythics in this box. And then the uh, signed Ihada. I'm fading in and out. Are you fading in and out as far as uh, consciousness, or uh, like my stream sucks still? <laughs> World of Warcraft, yeah. All right, let's get some boxes for everybody real quick. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of research and see if I don't have to be greedy, if I can't wait and uh, find, find a box at a decent price. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong and maybe they'll drop in price because collectors are coming out, but I just don't see it. If, uh, if we just opened up that box, which it only had six mythics, but it had two fetchies in it and two of those uh, retro frame foils that uh, are spendy. So if there's stuff like that in there, I, I don't really see how the price is going to go down even if Collectors comes out because it looks like you can buy a cheaper product that has just as good a value maybe. So, yeah. Uh, but congratulations to you, Mr. Wilson. That was a hell of a stack there. Um, yeah, Sammy, dude, again, getting stretch arena -ed. Um, yeah, dude, that sucks so much. I tried with the fucking extra pack, too, man. Uh, I was really hoping that you could hit something good in there. We've seen those with, with those extra packs sometimes, you know, I mean... You, can, you never know what you're going to get in that list spot. Some people hit Kozilek and stuff, you know? I was, just, I was just hoping. Or maybe you hit a Wither Bloom or something to make it worth your time. No problem, man. No problem. Wish I could have done a little bit better for... I mean, four out of five guys got got a pretty, pretty decent run. Uh, I need another box. Okay, Expo already has a box. From his uh, his stream. Hey, that was actually a little bit of redemption for you, Expo. You, you took the low spot after your, uh, your packs that were so bad last week caused the stream to fail. <laughs> Fading in that world. I gotta get to sleep. Have a good night. Yeah, Zach, have a good one, man. Appreciate your sponsor, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Alrighty. Garth One Eye. Good old Garth. I'm gonna read him real quick before I put this away. Choose a card name. Create a copy of the spell. You may cast. You still pay its cost. Okay. 
That's still though, man. Terror, Shivan Dragon, Regrowth, and Black Lotus. Ugh. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but if you watch that Post Malone uh, command zone, man, he used he took advantage of that to regrowth his Rise of the Rise of the Dark Realms or whatever. And man, that was a, that was a pretty good. If you do another box, I'll take a spot. Sure. One o'clock. Yeah, Sam, dude. Uh, my apologies on that, bro. I I tried, dude. Uh, fuck. I, yeah, there's nothing else to say, dude. I feel bad about that, man. Um, yeah. Okay, so let me let me do a little bit of research here. We'll see what we can come up with. See if we can't. Uh... We can't find something. What's going on here? Okay. Light play. <laughs> um. All right, so. Well, I mean, shit, I could start with you guys. Do any of you guys know where to get uh, a set box that isn't absolutely ridiculously overpriced? Uh, I don't know if you're still hanging out or not. Uh, Michael, I bet you're probably sleeping, but do you have any extras? Um, I could start there, help you guys out if anybody's holding on to extra, any extra stuff. Um... I'm trying to find, uh... Oh, dude, Turok 2 was my shit. Uh, beware, Oblivion is at hand is the is the master code. If you want to go back and play it, it gives you all the cheats, dude. I just the Lair of the Blind Ones was my fucking jam. Uh, there there's so much goodness. I even like the one for Xbox back in the day. The the Turok for Xbox wasn't even that bad. It wasn't as good as the 64 ones, but I'm not you know 13 years old when the Xbox came out and scared of everything playing in the dark at 3 a.m. Nothing will let me Goldeneye, though. Turok and Goldeneye were both the shit. Saved by the Kirkland brand soul ring. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. Didn't you get the Profane Tutor, though, too? Or, or was that uh, Levi? Maybe not. Uh, I'm trying to find... Sorry, I'm getting distracted, guys. I'm trying to find uh, what it's going to cost to replace a box here so I can... find out if we're going to fill up another one of these. There would be five spots. It would be the same same thing. Uh, the 69, we'll do the uh, do the uh, five packs extra. It'll be the free packs for the winner, for the three high, for the high, and the uh, two low. For the low. That makes sense, what I just said there. Uh, Modern Horizons 2, huh? Why do I feel like I'm going to fucking pass out as soon as I type this in? Set booster. They don't even have a set booster box. Whoa, dude. What? Hey! Knock that shit off, Hug. Scratching the shit out of my fucking door frames. Okay, they do. They have them. Ah, oh, 
yeah, dude, see, exactly. <sighs> okay. They're gonna be like 290. Fuck. Something I wish I knew. If you owe less than 356 Why do I gotta pay tax, you guys? Uh, looks like they're gonna be spendy. Um, Let's see. That's on TCG. I'm gonna be paying about two ninety. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, what do we got for? Um. Don't you Amazon's the way it works. expensive on Amazon shit but they're prime so I get it faster nine dollars more expensive on Amazon fuck is there is that the cheapest one yeah that's yeah okay so it's about the same fuck man uh what's what's the other fucking Oh my goodness, there's no way. 310? Get the fuck out of here! Even more expensive. Uh, if you guys are still there, uh, I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, so, let's see. If I put it out there, the only person so far is Chris. He wants a spot. Um, I got one last local store that I can check. That would be... Too bad if I could uh, pre-order from them, pick it up tomorrow. If it's not ridiculously overpriced by now, which it might be. Uh, oh yeah, they're sold out for sure. Damn it, I knew they were gonna be. They only had five boxes. Wow. They are sub 260. Yeah, but I gotta pay tax, bro. So I'm, I'm paying like 290 after tax. Because it's gonna be at least $26 in tax on top of that. That's the thing that sucks, bro. It's, it's... I even tried Neil's place that's local and I could drive and pick it up there and not have to pay shipping or anything like that, but they want in 310, bro. Uh, yep, they're, damn, they're sold out there. Let's see what, uh, I got one last option here, I guess. so ridiculous man that's like weren't these supposed to be 229 or something or 219 or something like that when they when they first came out and then the prices just do that uh well, I look at like 275 but TCG is cheaper yeah, exactly. TCG's cheaper. I mean, because, but then I gotta like wait a week, and you know what I'm saying? Like by the time I get it from TCG, it'll be like Thursday or Friday, and then you know, uh, I'll be putting, I'll be trying to record a video, and then uh, putting it out there, and it, it won't be out until everybody's already doing collector boxes and shit. Uh, 
But I mean, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to like deny a battle if people are down. I don't even know if y'all are, if there's actually enough interest for me to be researching this. <laughs> um, what is going on? Turn, what, what is, what, we're talking about little girls? I don't want this shit. It's fucking off here. We're going back to the beginning. It's like a 25 minute playlist and then like six songs and then we just restart it. Uh, so sealed products. Do we have... Yeah, of course not. Why would they? Yeah. Nope. Alright, so I'm taking it set boosters are pretty popular, guys. <laughs> uh... This place is called Knutson's. Didn't know that. Oh no, this isn't gonna be good. This place is already trying to way overcharge for shit. Yeah. Man, they had them at 262. So it's, it doesn't really matter what we're, we're looking like we're paying 289 or 2, 290 after tax. There's no way around it. Son of a bitch. We used to play a game called GIMP on GoldenEye. One person would play this odd job with the Golden Gun. Everybody else could only use remote mines, and the goal is for everyone to kill the GIMP. Oh, yeah, dude. Hell, yeah. I still believe they'll eventually get rid of printed draft boxes. I'm with you on that, Chris. It seems like they really want to push the set stuff so that they can uh, slide those secret lair reprints, and then you know they're eventually going to slide those secret lair uh, unique mechanic cards in there too or whatever they're gonna do but they, they definitely want you to do the set booster because it's more fun um all right well uh, i just knocked the dragon down he took out go tanks i mean i say go tanks but it's uh gogeta he took out gogeta fucked them all up Gogeta courtesy of body count. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. If I, uh, if I had to, uh, if, if there was enough interest, we could crack this. Or I will just, uh, make a video of it for myself. There's hella other boxes, though, too, guys. There's, I mean, you know, I know this is the hotness, so, you know, you guys are the, you guys are the sponsors. You tell me what you like, but there's so many other boxes out there. And in here. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, it's the same price, Bruce. It's 69. Is the uh, is the going the going uh, thingy there? already lower the print run on them oh, okay yeah yeah for the drafts for sure i bought a draft box of call time because they were on it you, nobody could find them and i just i still have it i just have one single you prefer double masters yeah i mean shit i got a double master box bro that's expensive but uh you know fucking double masters is still 90 and i don't have i don't have any more war of the spark pre-release kits for the low on the double masters but i got a core 21 kit and a zendikar kit That'd be two out of three for, or two out of five for the, uh, for the the set box here. Man, that first box is pretty good. I wonder if they're all like that. Yeah, the chat is really delayed. I'm having issues all over the place. That's why I was kind of saying I'm not. I'm not I don't want to be the greedy guy who wants to open this all for Homer, but uh, it's also kind of a fucked up stream. My chat's real off. Um, it, it's just been one of those things. It's, it was a long weekend. We were late as shit today. I drove 40 miles home from downtown Seattle with no fucking windshield wipers. Uh, and there was two crashes on I-5. It was amazing. My LGS had four cases of draft and dozens of sets. Yeah, dude, it's for real. I don't have a strict 
set uh, or a Strix uh, draft box. I didn't buy one. That's a lie. I have one. I'm staring right at it. Fuck. I have, I, but I also bought one only because I pre-ordered it. And the guy told me that it was uh, it was going to be gone soon. You know what? Honestly, absolutely. Two thirty for two thirty. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I, I don't have to go. I just, uh, I just don't have anything else to open unless it's gonna be this. And I'm not trying to pressure anybody into doing it because I totally will open this for me and make a video out of it. I think it's been like 17 days since I made a video. Um, I had a strict saving recorded and I accidentally deleted. I did it, you know, the intro video and then the beginning and then uh, I had, uh, it was three videos and I accidentally deleted the first two. And so now I just have this, it's the whole box opening but there's no intro and you know, there's, it, I don't know, it's, it's, I can just, I can still put it up, but that's that's why I didn't put up a, a video last week because I want to do it. I fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, dude, two thirty. Jason, are you you're getting them for two thirty? Or what are we talking about for two thirty? Also, happy memes. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I mean, shit. I, I don't have a problem just just chatting with you guys. I really don't. Um, totally unless we figure something out. I just. Uh, yeah, I, I spent all the monies this weekend on those pre-release kits. Sickness Infinity, how's it going, man? I noticed you uh, you pop in on the, uh, the the subscribers recently. I appreciate that. Good to see you in the stream. Jester's awesome. The Easter egg hunt was fun. I'm glad he's finally getting all that figured out. Those are some fun videos. Some nice little cause he had going on there. It was really fun. I was super happy he included me in that. I'm just as happy watching you crack a box for yourself. We don't have to battle. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I'll make a video out of it. But yeah, I, uh, I definitely want to crack a, a set box for myself. For sure. Um, and and I'm, if I if I'm being totally honest, you guys, it's because I have four collectors coming next week, and if I don't get those, if I don't, if I sell this one, I'm gonna be behind on my Modern Horizons 2 collection, and then I'm gonna open four collectors of Modern Horizons 2, and then Shannon's gonna bury me before we get married. <laughs> um. Yeah, dude, stuff happens. I know how that goes. I too have been uh, been taken by the the busy the busy monster. But uh, actually, you know what's funny? Now that we're talking about this, this is probably about to be warm. I'm gonna go swap this out. I will be right back.
Wow. All right, you guys. Well, that kind of might have uh, that might have just sealed the deal for us, guys. Um, Kieran was upset because even though we let him out to go to the bathroom, it was his stomach for sure. Uh, because he liquid shit all over my house upstairs. So I'm going to end the stream with that on that note. I got a cold beer and I'm going to decompress here for a second before I go finish up the continuation of my bad weekend and uh, previous two weeks. Um, so we'll hang out here for a couple more minutes. I'm going to crack into this uh, ice cold beer. Try to uh, pretend that I'm not going to go uh, clean up poop. Chatmaster. Chatmaster. Hey, that's not bad out of a can, either. Yeah, dude, for real. Uh, Cygnus, yeah, for real. Um, so yeah, we're just, uh, we're just hanging out for a minute. I'm gonna decompress a little bit, and, uh, and then we'll go upstairs and take care of that. But I walk upstairs and Shannon made popcorn earlier, and I was like, oh, man, that popcorn smells really weird. And then I walked around the corner, and I was like, oh, no. And I saw these little drips, and I was like, oh, shit. And then I walked around the corner again because I have a, a fireplace that's like a, a centerpiece to my kitchen and, and upstairs. So I walked around the whole fireplace, and when I came around the third corner, I looked down, and not only did he liquid shit all over my house... He actually made some of it into the pockets of my disc golf bag. And uh, so that's going to have to get washed. Yeah. Hell yeah. Emma, Bruce, Cygnus, Jeff, everybody packs. Chris, body count, all you guys that were here. I really appreciate it. Uh, I apologize again. This one was extra late, um, but it had, it had to be so. I got fitted for my suit today, though. It's going to look dope. Uh, I spent all day in Seattle. I was supposed to, I was supposed to have my uh, my appointment was at a ten o'clock. We started it. I uh, couldn't find two fabrics. Uh, by the time we built the suit, it was time for someone else's appointment. So he said, "Hey man, I'm gonna have to have you come back at three and get measured." I got measured. Stopped and grabbed Shannon food on the way home. Huge accident. Here we are. Dog shit in my house. That box was really good. Uh, man. Freaking Levi killed it with that Marsh Flats. Jason, you got uh, you got Nest for Sentinel. Um, that box was really good though. Uh, Bruce's kit could have been better. wasn't the worst. wasn't the best. Mine were okay. I hit a Arid Mesa. That was cool. Uh, yeah. So you know, we're just trying to name off the good things here. We're gonna we're gonna switch switch the uh, attitude up a little bit. Traded cards to your LGS to get a set box for 300 pre release for 60 and $100 with credit. Of course, at trade in rates. Equal value after opening. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was he was making noise earlier. You guys can go back and watch the stream, or if anybody ever, you know, he was whining at me. I even I asked him if his stomach was bugging him because he was moving a lot. And, but when we tried to let him go earlier, he went outside and came back in. So. That's dope, Cygnus. Um, I would like to have done that, uh, but uh, it's not a it's not a, it's not a value trade in thing up here right now. It's just hard to get a, get your hands on. Believe it or not, I, when I got those, I didn't have anybody uh, ready for the pre release battles when I picked these up, and so I uh, I actually wanted to get another set box, and they were like, nope, sold out. And their pre release kits were seventy dollars, and so. That's why I was like, well, let's just get a set box instead, because four pre release kits, that's a damn set box. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna waste a little bit more time here with you guys. I'm just chatting, I know the chat's delayed, but uh, I don't wanna go clean that up right this second. It's already there, it's not gonna change. <laughs> Luckily, we have a little green dirt devil or whatever abyssal, so it's uh, it'll be not too bad.
Oh man. Um, well, let's open this. I didn't know this was here. Uh, if there's anything good in here, maybe we'll throw it to Sammy. I didn't know this was here. I just moved some stuff. This was also left over from last week. No, uh, we got a Jace. I did not know this was here. Uh, foil Forest. Might as well just open it. It's that booster from Zendi. The Bailoth, the Alliance, the Geyser Mage. Now here he's litho forming. Alright. I feel like I might have hidden this because I think these are some of the worst set boxes, the Zendikar ones. I might have tried to prevent people from getting pooped on. Um, they charge the same amount as uh, Kaldheim. And, uh, I mean, Strix is a dollar more, but uh, I think Zendikar should be cheaper because it's just not as good. Yeah, you get that assault there and then nothing. Like, dude, what, what's up here forming worth like eight cents? And they want like six bucks a pack for those. Eesh. Plus tax, which makes it like 660. <laughs> Just creep in the stream and hear a bubble bubble. Uh, yeah, you might hear a bubble bubble occasionally, now and then. Um, you know, we, that's how I bless packs usually. Uh, for D&D pre-orders, I use store credit for my buy list. Most of the MH2 is from that same buy list. Damn! You got a hell of a buy list. Yeah, I, I wish our source did better on that here. Um, I know, like, you know, Card Kingdom's good at it, but I don't want to pack it draw my stuff up and like send it to a store i'm kind of old school i miss going in and doing a little bit of haggling with the guy you know arcana cruelty chatterfang old border chatterfang garth tumiari's wigs tarn catacombs yavamaya showcase love ionis Ragavan, Dothi, Urza Saga, Old Border, Pure and Solitude. Holy shit, that's a box, man. That is a box. Borderless Solitude, Sword of Hearth and Home. Borderless Sword of Hearth and Home. Promo Sword. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, no, for sure, for sure. I don't I don't hate him. Um, I just, you know, I had an argument with a buddy of mine named Matt, and he, uh, he, he got like eight mythics in his. He hit, like, is it Green Warden? No. Ancient Green Warden? There's another green one in, in a Zendikar that's really good. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Um, one's the Green Warden, and, and then the other one is it's also a green card. Uh, but he hit both, and he hit two of one of them. And I, I opened, like, four boxes, and I, I couldn't hit one. Collector's boxes, all this shit. Oh, that's... You're not supposed to see that on the stream. <laughs> Shut down, guys! <laughs> just kidding I see people do it all the time on YouTube I try not to but that's just me personally um, that's what happens when you're sitting here bullshitting but he hit like 8 mythics and I hit like 4 in mine and we had an argument for days about Zendikar being worth it and I still think that the draft box was better it came with the same box topper but that's personal preference um, yeah Think about like a bandit for sure. Yeah, as I'm just chilling there, just holding my fucking potpourri on the camera. Ashaya, thank you. It is Ashaya. That's definitely the one. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think Kaldheim was even better as far as the set boosters went. I thought Peach right there was Strixhaven, but then we opened up this Modern Horizons one, and that shit on Strixhaven. So. Yeah. All right. Well, it's around five twenty in buy the WN. Yeah. See, mine mine's a premium WPN store as well, but they are getting out of the singles market because because of COVID. They didn't. They weren't doing singles, right? They they were like, hey man, if you really want to, we have inventory. We'll go see if it's in there, but we're not really trying to sell singles, you know. And they're not really taking. They're taking in Pokemon, and other other singles, but they're not really doing Magic. Um. 
Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely legal in my state. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, I got a bunch of friends that, that, that that's like their whole YouTube channel. Um, but, uh, uh, Oh yeah, they're a WPN premium store, but they're just getting out of the singles thing, and which sucks because they used to be the best place for singles. Uh, and they, you know, they're still a WPN premium store, but he 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 tells me all the time about how it's getting harder. To, you have to buy more every time just to just to assure that you get the same amount next time, not even that you get a better deal and stuff. And so it's just it's one of those things where it is what it is. Four mythics in your pre-release kit. Wow. Uh, uh, that's insane. Hey, you the mess maker. Here he is. What are you doing, dude? You need to stay away from all the cards in here. You just knocked the glass over. Yeah, you better lay down. But, uh, yeah. Was that your little reminder that uh, there's a mess that I need to go clean that you made? Oh, man. Bummer. <laughs> but it is what it is. No. All right. Well, I think I have uh, wasted enough of y'all's time. And we're going to end it right there. I'm going to go clean up uh, Kieran's nice little mess. And then uh, just keep your eyes peeled. I'll put that uh, put that video out soon. Uh, um, oh, shit. Did anyone notice... The, the my new logo did anybody see it i don't even know distribution is getting hyper competitive yeah dude it really is especially when amazon takes 100 percent of everything um uh, damn that sucks I wanted to ask about that when I had like 15 people in here, but I forgot because we were open to fucking get out of cards. Well, we'll throw it in the next video. We'll throw it in the, in the, in the video for this. Yeah, I, I threw a little teaser out of the new uh, the new logo there. Um, but, yep, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out another time. I've wasted enough everybody's time. I'm literally going to go quiet. A couple minutes just to see if anybody responds in the chat since it's so fucking delayed tonight. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, appreciate you guys being here. I'm gonna get this out. We'll get this going. Make a video out of it. It'll be fun. Uh, you guys have any ideas, uh, what to do with collector boxes? I don't really know what to do for prize support. Um,. The stuff so expensive already to go and buy stuff is going to be ridiculous. But if you guys have thoughts on that and you're in the Facebook group, Grim Tutelage MTG, give me some thoughts on that. I don't know how we want to do it. If we want to just do uh, five people, two packs a piece, high and low get a pack a piece, you know, I don't know how we want to do it because it's so expensive. Um, but we'll figure it out. I got four boxes coming. We'll be doing for battles. At least, at least two of those are going for battles. So, uh, do that. I'm gonna show.
right, Chewie? We believe feeling good comes first. That's why we offer veterinary diets, prescriptions, even compounded medications customized for your pet, so you can get what they need to feel healthy. Save 20% on your first prescription order at 